Hello and welcome to Bladed Articles. Today for you guys, I have got a Boca Plus Tech Tool City One Red, or quite a few of us call it, is a Boca Tech Tool, or Boca Tech Tool One. So this is the Heine Haynes collaboration, and uh, obviously because it's in red, and you've got it here, Boca Plus Heine Tech Tool One. So on the box it's quite nice, quite nice finish and it's got obviously the knife on there and then it's got a brief spec on the back there and both languages, I think German and English, the clip's the same. <laughs> so let's have a quick look inside and see what we've got. Uh, we've got the knife and a nice little bit of wrapping there. And we've got some paper, English, we'll probably be taking that one, or Dutch. So, on the English one, you have got, thank you for your support, no worries. Handmade product line brand of a little bit of Boca down there on the old Instagram Boca Plus limited lifetime warranty and your care instructions it's not a screwdriver or a lever tool a chisel a hammer or a crowbar <laughs> I think we are all guilty of using it as some sort of pry bar in one way or another not this particular knife just any knife so, inside the wrapping paper, you have got this cheeky little number. So, here we have the Heine Haynes edition of the Boca Tech Tool 1. Let's open it up so you can have a little look. As you can see, it's quite a nice little blade on there. Quite a nice feel of the handle and the Glass breaker doesn't get in the way at all, which is always good. However, it is obviously a UK friendly, so it has a slip joint in it and it has no half stop. So, also, it has the G10 scales, which are in red, obviously, as you can see. I do like the red G10 scales, I must admit. It is, uh, I don't sort of carry all the same colour. I just I just really like the, the red in the G10 for some reason. It's just nice. And it just so happens to be that they're the Heine edition. So, go figure. So, the costing on this one. I actually got this gifted to me by a friend. You know who you are, so thank you very much for that. I really appreciate this from the bottom of my heart. It's insane, nice add to my collection. So this retails in at 19.95 from Heine Haynes. So I will pop a link in the description for you to go get one of those. They are non-affiliated, all of my links. So I don't get any money from it. Just thought I'd help a couple of people out. If you wanted one. So the carry style is coming in at tip up or tip down, as you can see. Uh, but it is only right hand only. So nowhere to put it on that side. And the steel is coming in at, if we can see it, yes. It is Sandvik 12C27. I think I do have another one in this still, but I'm not entirely sure. I will have to double check that. But th this one isn't being used a tremendous amount in any way because it is for uh, a collection. So it will be used around the house from time to time, of course. But it's mainly for the collection. So it's not going to be a typical user, get abused and destroyed sort of thing. That That's my thinking for this one anyway, for the collection. So the centering on here is... Absolutely bang on, as you can see, which is always good when it comes out from the factory. 
it has had light use so it's nice to know it's still centered and the screws and I can find the bit here we go so the screws are all the same and they are yep so these are all I think this is a T6 so really good news if you wanted to take it all apart it is just one tool on one side not the other and all you need is a T6 Brucey bonus so I'll just show you the length and I can find it here we go so you're looking at Du, 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 du. Six point six point six centimeters, roughly. You want to take a mil? That's what it looks like to me. And then lengthwise, you're looking at sixteen and a half with the glass breaker, or sixteen point two, maybe three, without. But yeah. As you can see, it fits nice in the hand. Nice little UK legal. Just be aware of your pinkies if you are forcefully using that. Make sure they're clear out of the way when you close. I can find a nail nick. Which is, this is why I'm not a big fan of nail nicks because half the time I don't have a nail. So it takes a lot to get it out. So on the blade itself, let me just clean that. On the blade itself, you've got the Boca logo there, Boca Plus logo. And then you've got, which I love, the Heine logo. So it's not just a G10, red G10 you get with this, you get the Heine logo on the blade as well. And obviously the blade type, which is always handy to know. And we will just give it a quick hair pop now, just to see if we can take anything off. Oh yeah, there goes a few. As you can see, so it is still shaving sharp and it is popping hairs. Like I said, it's had light use, so I would I was hoping that it's gonna, you know, pop the hairs still. So that's always a good one. And I would just give you, and I can stand it to a size comparison. You've got the Kaiser zip slip and the Mech Army EK3 RT and as you can see they are a bit bigger than the Heine Tech Tool 1 however the you know this one is 20 pounds you know these ones are, are way more than just the 20 pounds and I think it's an absolute great buy at the 20 quid if I'm honest it's you know it's done it's got a, a nice decent blade still that's you know it works it works for me so hopefully it'll work for you guys it's not the most amazing that i've come across but it works and that's all i can ask for it because it's, it's only getting light use like i said i don't really have any niggles with it apart from uh, the nail nick that's just a personal preference for me i'd rather have a hole or something you know, apart from this one where you have to use two hands. But even then, it's not a nail nick. So I'm all right with that. But there we have it. That is the Boca Tech Tool 1. And uh, absolutely chuffed with it. And for 20 quid, you can't really knock it, can you? I mean, if it breaks or if it gets used again, just buy another one, I suppose. Because it's not, it's not going to break the bank and it seems to be holding up quite well at the minute so well extremely well at the minute like i said i haven't done much cutting with it but it's doing the job so thank you very much for watching and take care and i'll catch you in the next one